Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 20 of the Pac-Man Pac-Only Road to Glory. It's Saturday, so we've got a Pac-Man episode for you today. Now, there's not long left until next gen, and we're going to restart the series when the Xbox One comes out. So, uh, we really don't have much time left in this particular season one of Pac-Man, but there's definitely still time to make some impression on the uh, on the league tables on the uh, divisional ladder and of course plenty of time to open some more packs and see if we can get a star player unfortunately in that season ticket pack we don't pull anything of any particular note and uh, we actually I am actually going to end up discarding all three of those players but uh, anyway we're going to come into a division 7 game as you can see we're in a good run of form we won both games in the previous episode so we're uh, we're one point shy of uh, survival in division 7 so we're going to go in with this Serie A side David Alaba is going to make his debut in this one, so it's a big game for him. Of course, we've got Martin Kelly at right back. We still need uh, Serie A wing backs for that particular side. But we come up against a decent Premier League side. Giroud and Remy up top, uh, Lamella and Micah Richards on that right hand side. So Alaba is going to have his work cut out on his debut game. Podolski and Jose Enrique down the left. Kevin De Bruyne and Fernandinho, who's a great player, sat there at CDM with uh, Vermaelen, etc., and David De Gea at the centre backs. But this game is going to be close in scoreline but not necessarily close in terms of game players. We come close with Icardi there. Decent first shot, and uh, that was actually the first shot of the game, believe it or not. And then we come extremely close to Bonucci there. That header was just whiskers wide of that far post, and we almost took a 1-0 lead just before half-time. But Kone is going to go on a great run. Turn two or three defenders inside out before drawing another good save out of David De Gea in the first half stoppage time. But we're going to pick up the corner. We're going to take it. We're going to have a chance from it before the first half is over. Uh, I decided not to let Alaba take this one. Put on Santana because he's got a better delivery on him. He's going to whip it in. Icardi's going to go up, have the chance himself, and that's a great header into the back of the net in the 45th minute to give us a 1-0 lead going in at half-time. And as you can see from the stats on your screen right now, we were definitely being dominant. It was De Gea that was keeping him in it. He could easily be two or three goals down at this point. And that, unfortunately for him, he hadn't troubled my goalkeeper at all for the entirety of the first half. So into the second we go, and it's actually Morales who's going to have a great run after Martin Kelly plays the ball inside to him. He's going to take on three or four different defenders. He's going to turn inside one there, turn inside the next defender, take on Fernandinho again, try and squeeze the shot inside that far post, but unfortunately the little Argentinian can't quite find the corner, and it does go past that far post. But we're going to come even closer here, Icardi. Great turn, great save, David De Gea. I don't know how he's got to that. That is just absolute wonder stuff from David De Gea there. That second diving effort from the header from Santana really should have found the back of the net. Just couldn't quite find enough power on it. David De Gea had cat-like reflexes, gets himself back to uh, to palm the ball away. And you knew exactly what was coming from this chance. Remy was never going to cut inside, just going to use his pace, run all the way around the outside of me. Unfortunately, Zero was wasteful with the header. And that was as close as he was going to come to getting himself back into the game so we take a 1-0 win that's uh, three wins on the bounce now so picking up nine points from our past three games as you can see we were still dominant in the second half as well a lot more chances he did have more of the ball and a couple of chances himself but that is survival in division seven assured and uh, we're halfway through this season and halfway towards over halfway towards promotion and maybe even a title in division seven to get us into division six but uh, we're going to come into the next game with uh, our la liga slash russian side uh, i made a change to put Artem Reyes in goal because uh, he's a little bit better than the goalkeeper we did have in goal and still keeps that Brazilian link with Paulo. But we come up against really nice La Liga side. Pedro, Diego Costa and David Vera as the front line. Two holding mids with uh, Biscuits and uh, Chabi Alonso with Koke sat just behind with a cam. And then his defence is decent as well. Felipe Luis, Pepe, Pique, Juan Fran and... Uh, Courtois I think he's got in goal and Courtois is going to make a great save here from Tosic's free kick that is sneaking inside that near post and that was definitely going to make us uh, give us a 1-0 lead but uh, Courtois just gets across to it he's going to make another good reaction save there from Karanyi the ball is going to drop to Tosic shows great feet to get inside looks for that far top corner with a finesse shot but unfortunately it's not quite accurate enough but he wasn't going to be able to clear his lines properly as Courtois chips it out Koke is going to win the first header and the second header to get it to Karanyi makes a run off it pass and move finds the ball coming back to him over the top Decent left foot shot and it's another good save from Thibaut Courtois. And we're actually going to get another chance. It's just chance after chance. Karani this time again setting up Itaraspe. I don't know how he's not managed to hit the target. Though. That is really poor from Itaraspe. And unfortunately we aren't able to make it 1-0. But as you can see we've been dominant in this one. But uh, Pedro's going to catch us on the counter attack here. He's going to turn inside Paolo. I tried to read it. Couldn't quite get across to him. And uh, that finesse shot is just absolutely... Uh, I don't know whether that's OP or whether it was just a particularly good one-off. Uh, 
a finished shot. But as you can tell by the title, we stepped up a gear when that goal went in and found ourselves pushing forward a lot more than we had done previously. And Veer gets played through. He's going to find Coco with a chip shot, and it's an insta reply. Just three minutes after he went 1 0 up, we bring him back to 1 1, and it was time to start battering him once again, looking for those three points to get us even closer to the promotion line. And Koke is going to cut inside. Lovely step over. He's going to finesse it just inside that far post. It's really nice, precise past effort. He almost passed it into the back of the net. Really nice effort to get it into the back of the net. We're 2-1 up. And then we're actually going to make it 3 here. Tossit shows great feet. Just teases Pepe with the feet there and then an emphatic finish right into the top right hand corner with that gorgeous left foot of his. He does of course have an inform this season and uh, he's even if the uh, the informs were decided by in-game gameplay, Tosic has really been so good for us in this particular series. And uh, maybe we'll be lucky enough to pull him in a pack in the second series of Pac-Man on Xbox One. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, we're actually going to make it four here. Karani again a 1-2 with Koke. Those two link up so, so well. Brings his goalkeeper out and it's just a simple chip shot into the back of the net to make it four in the 90th minute. And we still weren't done. We're going to end with style. Koke again whips the ball in. What a header, by the way. Kevin Karani. Ranyi, that is such a great header. The technique on it, uh, PK will be disappointed. The guy that was playing with his uh, defender there will be disappointed that he didn't attack the ball. He just stood there, waited for it to come to him. Kevin Karani took the initiative, made the run in front of him, twists his neck and his uh, torso to whip the ball into the far top corner. And we're going to take a 5-1 win from that second half. Unbelievable stuff, considering there was only like 25 minutes left in the game where we went 1-0 down we absolutely stepped it up not even one gear but at least two maybe even three just found another level of performance and uh, we definitely needed it and as you can see we're now one point from promotion out of division seven four points from a division seven title with four games to go so we can just afford a diff I'm going to start that again. If we could just avoid defeat from our remaining games in this particular season, then we will grab the title. We may even be able to do it a little bit early in the next episode. But that is going to wrap this one to a close, guys. So do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. If you did enjoy it, then, of course, feel free to subscribe if you aren't already. There will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over the Pac-Man. If you missed the previous video in this series, which came out last Wednesday, then there will be a link on screen over the Pink Ghost. And if you aren't following me on Twitter already, feel free to do so at Chesnoy Game, and there will be a link to that in the description as well but that is going to bring this one to a close guys got a Serie A squad builder for you tomorrow so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time